सो सिंपल ट्यूटोरियल गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एस एस टी सो सिंपल ट्यूटोरियल इन द प्रीवियस टू क्लासेस वी रेड एंड अंडरस्टूड नॉट ओनली द कॉजेज ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल पोल्यूशन बट ऑल्सो द वेज हाउ टू कंट्रोल इंडस्ट्रियल पोल्यूशन टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एन टी पी सी शोज द वे This is a small case study of NTPC to understand how NTPC is combating pollution. First of all, let us see in brief what NTPC is and then we will see how it manages to control pollution. NTPC my dear students stands for National Thermal Power Corporation. It was founded by the government of india in 1975 and it comes under the ministry of power the government of india okay now what it does it generates electricity and distributes electricity to the state electricity boards in india currently it is producing about 25 billion units of electricity per month This is a general information about NTPC and you must know at least this much about NTPC. Now, NTPC has ISO certification for EMS 14001. EMS means Environment Management System. ISO my dear students stands for International Organization for Standardization. It is just like ISI that we have for indian products when you find an isi mark on a product you get assured of the quality isn't it iso is thus a certification that verifies that a manufacturer of a certain product meets all the requirements required for the standardization process and quality assurance process so we can say iso certification is a mark of quality and credibility for any company then what is iso 14001 iso 14001 is an internationally agreed standards that set out the requirements for an environmental management system let us see what is environmental management system an environmental management system that is ems students is a set of processes and practices which enable an organization to reduce its environmental impacts and increase its operating efficiency if the industry meets these standards then the organization gets this certification such practices help organization improve their environmental performance through more efficient use of resources and reduction of wastes i hope you have understood ntpc and iso certification in brief now let us come to the main point how does ntpc do this students the corporation has a proactive approach for preserving the natural environment and resources like water oil and gas and fuels in place where it is setting up power plants what is this proactive approach it means an approach that is intended to avoid a problem rather than waiting until there is a problem that means you are taking steps in advance to tackle an expected problem dear students ntpc is not one single power plant it has a number of coal based power plants some names you must have heard of like ntpc kalgaon in bihar ntpc singrauli in up ntpc korba in chatisgarh ntpc talchar in odisha in your book and in the screen you can see ramagundam plant of ntpc in telangana so wherever they set up their plants they try their best to preserve the environment and the resources how it is done you can see five points given in the textbook as a b c d and e this has been possible through optimum utilization of equipment adopting latest techniques and upgrading existing equipment that means 
it makes use of the best equipment available or you can say the one that uses the most modern technology installing modern equipment which creates less pollution be it air or water pollution b minimizing waste generation by maximizing ash utilization that means effort is made to generate as less waste as possible secondly whatever ash is generated that is being utilized for some other purposes like the manufacture of cement bricks floor tiles etc you can see the bricks and tiles made from fly ash they are also used for road construction land filling etc c providing green belts for nurturing ecological balance and addressing the question of special purpose vehicles for afforestation that means they are planting trees around the power plant to neutralize the pollution you can see a few images of afforestation in the screen ntpc has set up a special purpose vehicle jointly with other central power sector undertakings to take up afforestation and environmental measures in order to reduce the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere this company has planted 20 million trees till date in and around its projects next reducing environmental pollution through ash pond management ash water recycling system and liquid waste management in the thermal power plants since coal is used as a fuel hence ash is generated as a waste product this ash is a major pollutant for environment to manage this ash ash pond is essential an ash pond is basically a structure used in power stations for the disposal of ash you can see ash pond in the screen the pond is used as a landfill to prevent the release of ash into the atmosphere the ash is basically sprayed with water and the slurry is pumped into the ash pond this is basically the ash pond management now the water that was used here is separated from the ash and is called ash water this ash water is then recycled to be sprayed on the new ash generated for this there is ash water recycling pump and a complete system is automatic e ecological monitoring reviews and online data management for all its power stations ecological monitoring my dear students it is an important scientific practice of taking repeated measurements of environmental conditions in the same place usually for long periods of time so that we can find out what changes have occurred in a given period whether the quality of environment is getting better or worse so ntpc monitors the changes continuously in all such places where it has power stations through database management system with this we close the session today i hope you have understood the topic and got an idea about what ntpc is what is the idea behind iso certification and the proactive approach adopted by ntpc to control pollution now you read your textbook once and get prepared to answer the question what is the question examine the proactive approach of ntpc for preserving the environment in the next class we will discuss some other chapter till then keep reading and have a nice time thank you